three. How do you want it? How do you want it? Yo, what's good, man? It's your boy Crush. Let's get into the vid. I need to speak out on this, but when you have a mother that does not even believe their own daughter right here, that's a serious problem to me. And it's a problem in the black community because I'm voicing to you that your husband was inappropriate with me. And why do you not believe that? You're lying. Quit lying. I'm lying. Why you am I going to lie to you about that? You stay lying coming from the this happens all the time. It happens all the time. She's telling her that her husband or her man is being inappropriate. And because the mother's trying to protect her relationship and what she got going on, she would accuse her of lying and ignore the situation. It happens all the time. She basically don't want to ruin what she has going on. So she would rather ignore, deflect, and accuse her of lying than to, act, than to actually acknowledge that she's telling her her man is being inappropriate with her. And this happens all the time. The mother basically being selfish. Instead of doing the right thing, I'd rather ignore it and pretend it's not going on because I don't want to ruin what I got going on. I don't want to ruin my happiness and even if that means at the detriment of her daughter. like. That's jacked up, but it happens all the time. This is nothing new. Uh, this has happened for years, y'all. I come in this. Y'all see this? You really taking up to know him from. What does she dealing with other dudes have to do with the situation? She's coming to you, telling you that your boyfriend, your husband, or whoever is, is being inappropriate with her. And instead of looking into the situation and addressing it, you're going to deflect because you're worrying about, you know, your situation, what you're going on, what you got going on, your well-being. Basically being selfish. A long time. And it don't even matter. I get out of class. When I get out of everything, I feel so uncomfortable in this house. And she want to sit up here and take up for this man. Like, you're disgusting. Both of y'all are. And that's sad, man. Your own child is coming to you, telling you that your man is being inappropriate or he's doing things and you're going to deflect, ignore her and tell her she's lying. You're going to accuse her of lying instead of investigating the situation. You would rather say you're lying, downplay the situation for your own selfish well-being. It's sad, man. I have to come in my home with my mama that's supposed to love me, and you want to sit here for him. Why would I lie, y'all? Why would I lie? Why? You want to stay like? Like I'm, I'm shaking right now, y'all. Cause this makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. And even if she was lying, let's say she was lying, regardless, should you not investigate the situation and see what's going on? So even if she was lying and being diabolical, you know, and just trying to get the man in trouble, wouldn't you still investigate? Let me see what's going on. Wouldn't that be the right thing to do instead of I'm going to ignore it because I don't want to ruin my happiness, what me and him got going on. Even if he's abusing you or he's doing or he's assaulting you, or whatever the case may be. I'm just going to ignore it, just for my happiness. Man, she's the worst. Oh, if she want to sit here and justify it, you are sad. You are sad and disgusting human being. I swear to God, I don't even look at you as no mother. I don't even look at you as a mother. This man dies, y'all. You can get out. I can get out. You can get out. So you going to put me out. You see this? And in the end, you know what's going to happen? They break up. She and the man is not together anymore. Or if the relationship doesn't work, then she's going to be trying to rekindle a relationship with her daughter. It always happened like that. So right now, while she's happy, she'd rather ignore her, you know, instead of doing the right thing. But later on down the road, if things don't work out, 
she's now going to try to, you know, recant the relationship and, you know, say stuff like, yeah, I know I should have listened. This happens all the time, man. And it's a sad situation. Why would she lie to you if she's coming to you? And why would somebody even lie about something like that? Yes, people lie at times, but you still would investigate to see, you know, is this true? You know, investigate to see what's going on. You don't ignore a situation like this. This is a serious accusation. But sad and unfortunately, a lot of times parents do this. They will ignore the situation because they're trying to protect their happiness. They're trying to protect the, the guy and their happiness. I don't want to ruin what I got going on. I don't want to ruin what I have going on. So I'd rather ignore it and call you a liar. And it's a sad, man. This is what I gotta go through, y'all. This is what I gotta go through. I gotta go through a mother that don't believe their own dog. She birthed me, and you wanna treat me like this, your own blood. If this is her second time bringing this up or talking about this situation, this issue, isn't it time you look into it? You see what's going on? Go have a conversation with the guy and just investigate to see, you know, make sure he's not actually doing these things. Instead of, you know, deflecting and ignoring and being selfish. I don't want to ruin my happiness. So I'm just going to pretend this is all a lie. Oh, she's just making things up. I would never do nothing like that to nobody. I got I'm been through this. I got friends. And you my mama. You are my mama. Don't even go over. I don't even want to touch you. Get away from me. You and your video could go. How about that? Oh, uh, now you want me. You know what? How about that? How about that? Cause always doing I swear to God. It's your fault. It's your the sad thing is, you can't always choose your parents. And sometimes your parents is a rotten apple and it is what it is. And it is what it is. You just got to live with it. Sadly enough. No, because I'm saying they need to chill. I'm saying though, but I'm saying though, but I'm saying though. Why the f you breathing like this? My God. If your relationship is like this, y'all need to move to the other side of the globe. Like this is toxic. This ain't healthy. If you're always fighting, arguing, and that's all you do in your relationship, then what's the point of being together? You might as well just separate. Like, this ain't it. Like, constantly arguing, fighting. That's not a good relationship. Then you always fucking I'm just saying that. Why the f*** you breathing like that? You just breathing like that, though. You stay doing this shit. You breathing like that. I'm tired of this shit. You don't even break For real. God damn, shit. If you're both arguing about breathing, that clearly tells you you're toxic. You don't belong together. You don't get along. Imagine that. If you're arguing about breathing why are you breathing like that which tells you you don't get along you can't stand each other so why are you together but then again some people like toxicity in their relationship they enjoy that stuff i don't get it like why would i want to argue and fight with you all the time if that's the case we might as well go our own way i'll see you i'll holla she started on me then. But like then, then he As always, the hit the she subscribe button, like, comment, right? share, holler at your boy. Like, what the